Hey everyone, Jackson with Edible Garden Growers here. If you're wondering where your squash are at and you're not seeing anything pop up, you might be having pollination issues. So in this video, we're gonna be discussing how you can address that by hand pollinating. So your squash plants might be loaded with flowers, but you might not be seeing any pumpkins or squash, or whatever it is that you're growing. These guys right here, got a little bee hanging out in there. These are the male flowers. They've got nothing hanging off the back of them. They are usually gonna be the most abundant ones that you're gonna see. Uh, and you're thinking, oh sweet, I'm about to have a ton of pumpkins and then you might not see any. Well, what you're looking for, these guys. So this looks like it's the start of a pumpkin. You might be like, oh sweet, I'm about to have pumpkins. And then this guy will just fall off or start dying. Like this guy right here. Or this one, this is a better example. You're like, why the heck are my pumpkins dying? What's going on? Well, what happened is it did not get pollinated or pollinated well enough. Squash unfortunately need quite a few bees or pollinators to come in and transfer pollen. It doesn't take just one. And I usually have pretty good luck with having the pollinators take care of all my pollination needs for me. And this year is the first year I've had to hand pollinate. So we can see over here, we got some more either delicata or butternut squash. I'm not totally sure what these guys are. I'll find out once they start growing. More male flowers, but no signs of female flowers. Been noticing the female flowers want to close real early before the pollinators really get out and i don't see any on there so this is the first one that i've seen and you can identify it by a little hump on the back so the start of whatever squash that's going to be so this guy i cut off a flower a male flower and just stuck it in there so i've never had to hand pollinate there's multiple different ways you could do it. Some people use toothbrush or paintbrush or anything like that. I just cut off the flower and stick it in another one. This is the first one I hand pollinated and it is one of the only pumpkins I have this year. So I've just accepted I've got to hand pollinate this year. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So you are ideally going to want to do this in the morning when the flowers start opening. If you wait too long, pollen is gonna start dropping. Bees will come in, take the pollen. It's gonna be less effective. So you want to find one of these guys I still got some pollen on that little pod there. What I do is I rip down, down to just about the base. If the pollen has already started to fall off onto the inside of the flower, I'll leave a bit of the flower on there where the pollen is sitting. Try and not to touch the pollen sac so that way you're not getting on your hands. Oh, lost a little more than I wanted, but still a good amount on there. So now we got this guy. I'm gonna take it. Got a female flower here, you can see because it's got this little nub on the back that's wanting to turn into a fruit. Take this guy. And I just stick it right in there. And get it as deep in there as I can and just let it sit. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video is of help to you guys and that you are able to get the biggest bounty of squash out there. Until next time, I'm Jackson.